praise the lord welcome to efarta reflections from kadosh marian ministries our reading is taken from the gospel of mark chapter 10 verse 51 jesus asked the bartimaeus what do you want me to do for you our theme today is our ultimate need part 2 my dear brothers and sisters last week we saw that the lord is asking us this question what do you want me to do for you every time we come into his presence even without such a question we are sometimes in a hurry to submit our shopping list to the lord many times it looks as though we come to the lord only for this purpose to update our shopping list but we know that our needs the items in our shopping list never end it only adds up one after the other and we also know that our life is much more rather far more than just materials for our day to day life but it happens that we stop there we don't go any further than our shopping list what do you want me to do for you the question comes from the lord of lords it needs to be addressed in the gospel of john chapter 17 we see the prayer of jesus before his death on the cross in this beautiful prayer we see the lord's aspirations about each of us living in the world today what do you want me to do for you jesus question to bartimaeus is answered by jesus himself in this prayer that he makes to abba father what he prays now is what he wants to do for us today This long prayer has three parts. First, Jesus prays for himself. Second, he prays for his disciples. And third, he prays for all believers. In the coming few weeks, we will be reflecting on this prayer based on the Lord's question, "What do you want me to do for you?" In the prayer that Jesus made for his disciples we will look at one important aspect today we see Jesus telling God the Father in the gospel of John chapter 17 verse 8 I gave them the words you gave me and they accepted them they knew in truth that I came from you and they believed that you send me my dear brothers and sisters see the open acknowledgement of jesus of his own disciples before his father he says i gave them the words you gave me and they accepted them they knew in truth that i came from you and they believed that you sent me all of us desire to be acknowledged by our lord and master in the way jesus acknowledged his disciples therefore when the lord asks us what do you want me to do for you let our response be increase our faith in god's word as god's own word increase our faith in jesus as the son of god increase our faith in jesus as the lord and master of our lives my dear brothers and sisters this is the first most important prayer we need to lift up before jesus before everything else it is also the greatest prayer that jesus thirsts to hear from us Jesus asks his disciples who do you say that I am 
he longs to hear from us that he is the lord in several places in the bible the central part of our faith is highlighted in his letter to romans chapter 10 verse 9 the word of god tells us if you confess with your lips that jesus is the lord and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead you will be saved saint paul again thanks god in his first letter to the salonians chapter 2 verse 13 he says we thank god for this that when you received the word of god from us you accepted it not as word of men but as what it really is the word of god my dear brothers and sisters jesus is not looking for a human declaration just a lip service from us that jesus is the lord in his letter to corinthians first letter to corinthians chapter 12 verse 3 the word of god confirms no one can say jesus is lord except by the holy spirit it is the holy spirit's mission to bring this conviction in our hearts that jesus is the lord and god of my life what do you want me to do for you who do you say that i am two very crucial aspects of our faith life believe and confess that jesus is the lord believe and accept the word of god as god's own word let us pray lord we surrender our hearts our entire being at your feet give us faith in our hearts o holy spirit may our faith become a heart experience lord increase our faith in you and increase our faith in your living word amen this is johnny kuriakos from kadosh marian ministries thank you